morning. We're doing, you know, it, it's, it's a beautiful day. Oh, it's gorgeous outside. It's just finally getting nice out. It's not warm yet, but it's still sunny. Yes, yeah, and we are, we are going up to a, a, a very balmy 60 degrees, so there's that. There is that. You know, one of the, the, the first things that I want to say is that Ray Red is one of many local people's favorite local act. There's a, a really nice photo that I have, and it's from Salt on Shelter Island see, coming to see you at the Shipwreck Bar. Let's talk about the way in which you have, you know, you've demonstrated your own dedication to your craft, but not only that, but supporting uh, institutions and, and venues that have supported you through the years. Uh, obviously, this is a, a really tough time for folks like musicians and restaurant owners. So um, what have you, what has been your um, point of pivot through this pandemic, Mr. Ray? Well, here's the, here's the deal. Like, I just flew back from Australia in March with a full schedule ready to play. And then almost, almost like as long as I, as soon as I hit the ground, we had the rug pulled out from under it. And, you know, here we were, I had the open mic set up. Were you in Australia during uh, all of these fires and whatnot? Yeah, but the fires were down south. Mm. You know, just, you know, people think of Australia as maybe the size of Rhode Island, but, it's, you know, it's the size of the United States. So uh, they were way down in the south and stuff. I never did see them. But, um, but as soon as I, like I said, as soon as I got back, uh, everything got shut down within like a week. And initially we were trying to work out how we're we going to do the open mics because a lot of the aspiring players come to the, you know, they, they depend on us for, they don't, they want to come out and, and play in front of people. That's the best way for people to learn. And now they couldn't do that. Uh, I set up uh, cameras in my house and we started, we had to learn right away how to do live stream. Um, we had been doing the open mic with live stream, but now how to do it a different way, get a better sound. Etc. So we set that up and almost right away started uh, announcing the names of the venues that we were playing. And as the audience grew, I put up little signs now. Um, you know, it says Southampton Public House, MJ Dowling. And even now we have overlays just like you have on the news with titles, the graphics across the screen, across the screen et cetera. And all the venues uh, tend to really appreciate it even though uh, a lot of the audience that we get online is from out of state or even out of the country. Mm -hmm. but, but, but there are people call, a girl called from Amsterdam and she called uh, Dowlings. She says, nah, I can't order food, you're too far away, but we just wanted to say hi because we heard your name. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Especially in this time when, uh, you know, communication and connections have never been more important in these uh, more isolating and isolated times. So uh, so again, to, just to recap, Ray Red is a musician out here on the East End. And now you, it's, is it just you? Or it's just you playing solo at venues throughout the region? Uh no, I've got my band. I've got, I've got, I've got James Bernard on drums. Mike Leclerc on bass and Josh Leclerc on lead guitar. Oh, man, the Leclercs are just like unbelievable. And oh, that's the best musical family any place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we know James is a, is a total beast, and we're so grateful that he's back at his craft and and feeling well. And uh, we're happy to have you back here in the states. So, so just to recap, you're doing live stream performances from these venues for Facebook Live. Is it Facebook no, Live? No, no, I'm, not doing, I'm doing it from my house. I'm doing it from my lounge room. Oh, because I thought I saw a, a, a live stream concert of you from uh, somewhere in East Hampton. Um, so no, you, so that, that's, yeah. that's your house. Yeah, you, oh, you saw water out the back from behind me. Yeah, because I live on the beach, yeah. Ah, okay, it's all coming together. I got right, it. Right, yeah. So, so, so yeah, every, day, is, every day at 6.30, um, go at six, you know, anywhere around 6.30, and we go till almost 7.30, sometimes 7.15, all depends upon the day. And uh, it works because, actually, do you know something? Today is going to be the 50th one that I'm doing. we have gone 50 straight days doing this stuff. And uh, the consistency of having the time it's what's made it work. And uh, everybody, you know, they, they, the venues all like the fact that their name is being, almost like when you're announcing you're a DJ, yeah. and you announce songs, etc. I'm in between songs announcing, you know, call MJ Dowling, 725-4444, you know, and, and, you know, and I don't have, 
uh, I don't have people screaming and yelling in front of me. You don't have people, you know, making bar noises and such. So I've got to make up for that with announcing the pub names. Uh, you know, it's 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 become a work in progress, but it's it's become actually pretty cool. Well, I have to imagine that the the venues are incredibly appreciative uh, that you're directing business to, to them uh, during such a tough time. We have to do this. Uh, you know, it's something. If they're not there, I mean, they're, they're on a margin financially anyway, uh, on a good year. You know, they, they're on a very slim margin for profitability. And now you're talking about, especially the ones that are that are uh, entirely enclosed, that they're going to have to, uh, in reality, in the near future, they're going to be, what, 40% capacity? And you take out a lot of their seating and all these new restrictions and such. They're, you know, looking at a very bad time. The ones that have outdoor facilities like Claudio's, Salt, Port, uh, even the Southampton Public House has the outdoor patio in the back. They've got an advantage because they can spread out a little bit and, you know, might be able to weather some storms a bit. But when you're entirely inside, uh, you know, you've really got to look at you know, what's your future going to be and if, even if some... It's, if it's even possible. Yeah, if it's even possible. And then... Um, you know, a lot of them, everybody's got a lease on their property. Not too many restaurant owners own the property. So, uh, you know, when you see that your lease is due in the next year or two, you start thinking, do I really want to renew my lease again? And they start looking in that way. And I know at least one that's not going to do it. So, uh, you know, we've got to look at a new way of, of, of being able to play music live. Right. So what is... What so is if we don't keep them open, you know, we can't work. Right. Uh, you know, just... You know, one hand washes the other. That's exactly right. Now, now, what are some of the things that you you seem to have really uh, made the pivot quickly uh, and successfully? And it, obviously, everything's a work in progress. But what are the, some of the things you're thinking from your from your own side? Well, as far as the future is concerned, yes. Well, uh, the, the 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 like I said, the outdoor venues are anticipating doing music because that's their business model. So that's but you know. On that end, uh, we also, you know, we, we, we're concerned with the weather because when it rains, we don't work. And normally when we're playing five or six days a week in the summertime and you get a rain day and you go, oh, geez, I have a day off. But now <laughs> we're going to be just praying for, for uh, sunshine for the entire summer. I, you know, it's, it, all of this is going to be, all new ideas going to be cropping up. And even, I mean, Let's just say, if you want to think outside the box, uh, let's just say you, you start thinking about putting gigs on remote, just like I'm doing now, and you put a big screen inside the venue, and I'm playing towards the venue, they turn it up and they turn over the sound system inside. I mean, it's just an idea, but, but, it's, but you have it's to start thinking it's around it's like a this. It's a damn good one. Yeah, you know, they, they have, everybody's got their little phones. Um, you know, when I'm playing live, which is really cool, is when I'm streaming, I have a screen next to me, I see who's on, uh, people make comments, they can, they can request songs, and the same thing, if, I, if they were doing it from a pub, and this way, I mean, real, realistically, I could do it from anywhere in the world, and people can request songs, and, uh, you know, and I can respond to the people right away, and it's, it is really cool, and the people that, that come on every day to listen to me live, it is really nice to see the same people and a lot of new people coming on too and just to hear their comments and stuff because again we don't get the applause because you know it's just you finish the song and it's a dead silent room do you think do you think ray this will uh affect how much uh, how much how many performances you are doing here in the coming year do you, are you thinking of opening up because you are an international musician and you go to other countries to perform what might this affect might you be going abroad more often in in the coming year well everybody's doing the same thing australia shut down their pubs about uh two weeks after the u.s did and they tried to do a limited amount of people inside they're about to turn back around they're about to start opening up the pubs i believe it's going to be two more weeks with limited capacity and they have a different law there. They've got, especially in New South Wales, there's music licenses which require it that if you have a license, you have to have music. So that's a different story. Thailand is still shut down. They don't know what they're going to be doing yet. Um, it's a different kind of democracy there, even though it's a nice place. 
So, uh, you know, it, how about New Zealand? Cool. We I, we definitely got to touch on that. Yeah, well, New Zealand's doing the same as Australia. They, they they're going to open up the pubs there pretty soon, and with the limited capacity to go in. But I'm not sure what their music licensing is. I just know what it is in New South Wales. Mm. Okay. But yeah, but it's uh, you know. It's, um, like I said, it's, uh, I think we're going to end up growing and learning more from this whole experience. You know, you got to, you know, we've been thrown a lemon, so we're going to make lemonade out of this, I would expect. Yes. And, and, and it's funny because this kind of brings us sort of full circle um, when it comes to, like, someone like you, someone is someone like Jenny Griffin, who is, and this is the same mindset, it is, you know, uh, some folks uh, know all about persevering in the face of adversity uh, because it's a part of who they are as a person. So it's it's really like, yes, it, it, we accept that uh, things are not uh, exactly how we'd like them to be. They they often never are, uh, but you got to make the best of it because the time to smile is now, right? So, oh, um, without a doubt. So I, I would love to, I, I really thank you for your time this morning. So Ray Red, where are you? Um, is it on your Facebook page that people can see your nightly live streams? Yeah, it's Ray Red Music. It's all one word. And I also do, we do a simulcast also on Twitch, which is more of a gaming uh, website, but twitch.tv and then slant Ray Red Live. Very cool. But it's the exact same thing. And the, the Facebook Live one, you can, and even on the Twitch one, you can you don't you don't have to be on it when it's live. You can play it back later. A lot of people are on late because of different time zones and such. But the people get on there live. I mean, it's really cool that uh, I don't want to keep you past your break there, but uh, um, but like at 20 past six, there's a leading I have a leading title on that says "Streaming Start at Half Past Six. So people know I'm on. They can you know they put the kettle on or whatever they do and get ready. And, they, and then you start seeing. It's almost like you're in the pub. You start seeing all the people start checking in before I even start playing. And then I get really excited. So then it, you know, it makes it much more fun for everyone. You know? I love it. So uh, Ray Red talking about ways in which musicians are continuing to perform even if uh, in this isolated sort of living in a bubble kind of world. I yeah. think that I'll play Living in a Bubble from Ray Red's uh, Touching Aborigines record ahead of NPR News at the top of the hour. Uh, if we have any time before the break, uh, it'll just go right into the Fab Four, I Mean Mine, from Let It Be. Ray Red, thank you for joining me. Yeah, no, thanks very much. Cheers, then. Cheers. We will okay. be back in just a few moments here on Peconic Public Broadcasting. Ray Red Music is the Facebook page or on Twitch TV slash uh, Ray Red Live. We will be back. We are all living in a bubble right now on Peconic Public Broadcasting. Your life is a fan everywhere you go. You only see the place where no one says no. You're living in a bubble. Like a stalk's head in the sand Living in a bubble Aboard a lot of trouble round Living in a bubble Aboard a lot of trouble round People that we see Even on TV Agree with what they say They do it every day You're living in a bubble like a stork's head in the sand You avoid a lot of trouble With a dream of the promised land Living in a bubble, avoid a lot of trouble round Living in a bubble, avoid a lot of trouble round Living in a bubble, avoid a lot of trouble round Living in a bubble, aboard a lot of trouble around Living in a bubble, aboard a lot of trouble around Living in a 